Hey everybody! Welcome to Storytime. My name is Elizabeth Reimer and I'm the director of Freedom Public Library here in New Hampshire. I want to give some shout outs to some of my Storytime friends, the ones that sent me pictures. Here's Amelia and Bo and Brody and Harper. Here's Calvin and Elsie and Emerson and Rylan. Here's Emmett and Haley and Jack. Here's Jackson and Piper and Rachel. And here are Wyatt and Bennett. Not pictured are Eleanor, Violet, Caroline, Margaret, Josie, and Darla. Thanks for sending me those pictures and if you want to be included in an upcoming shout out, send your pictures to the email address down below. And now it's time to sing our story time song. Are you ready to sing with me? Sit down, it's story time, and we're gonna have some fun. Read books and sing some songs, so listen everyone. I like to see your eyes grow bright, I like to see you smile. Cause you're all growing up so fast, let's share this little while. So sit down, it's story time, and we're going to have some fun. Read books and sing some songs, so listen everyone, listen everyone. This week we're going to be talking about worms and we're going to be talking about insects. So my first book today is What About Worms? by Ryan T. Higgins. This is from a series of books called An Elephant and Piggy Like Reading Book. Gerald? Yes, Piggy? I have a new book, but I cannot make heads or tails of it. Why not? Because it's about worms! It's also about time to get reading. What about worms? I'm a tiger! I am big! I am brave! And I am not afraid of anything! except worms. Worms are slimy. Ooh. Worms like to wiggle. Ooh. And you cannot tell their tops from their bottoms. Oh look, flowers. I love flowers. Wait. Flowers grow in dirt. Worms love dirt. And this pot is full of dirt. What if there are worms in this pot? Whoop. Pish. Phew. There are no worms. Poor flowers. Sigh. But I did break the flower pot. Oh, look, an apple. I love apples. Hey, look, who do you see up in the tree? It's a pigeon. Crunch. Gulp. Oh. No. What about worms? Worms love apples. What if there are worms in my apple? Splat. Oh, there are no worms in my apple. But now I have no flowers and no apple. <sighs> worms ruin everything. Who ruined everything? Thanks a lot, worms. Look out, it's worms. Oh, it's not worms, it's a book. You can learn so much from a book. I love books. Oh no, gulp. What if it's a book about? What do you think? What do you think he's gonna say?
Look at the worms. Was that a tiger? I'm afraid of tigers. Me too. Tigers are furry. Tigers like to walk. And you can tell their tops from their bottoms. Oh, look. The tiger left some dirt. Ooh, worms love dirt. Oh, look. The tiger left an apple. Worms love apples. Munch, munch, munch. Oh, look. The tiger left a book. Worms love books. And it's a book about worms. Worms love worms. Oh no, this is not a book about worms. What is it a book about, you think? See the picture? It's a book about, oh, tigers. Should we read it? I don't know. We're afraid of tigers. We are. We need to get to the bottom of this or the top. It doesn't matter. But we love books. Yes, we do. Let's try to read it. Oh, wow. I did not know tigers are so big. I did not know tigers are so brave. I did not know tigers are so not afraid of anything. We learned so much. And now, worms love tigers. That nice tiger left us dirt, an apple, and a book. Let's give that nice tiger a thank you worm hug. Worm hug, worm hug, worm hug, worm hug, worm hug, worm hug, worm hug. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Ah! Well, I don't think he liked that. Hmm. Did you like that story? I did. That book's surprising tale made for a surprising tale. I love a book that worms its way into your heart. Ha ha. Yeah. Okay, are you ready to sing with me? The firefly at night goes blink, 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 blink. The firefly at night goes blink, blink, blink in my own backyard. All right, in my own backyard. You got that? All right, here goes. The worms in the earth go wiggle, 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 wiggle. The worms in the earth go wiggle, wiggle, wiggle in my own backyard. How about the bees on the flowers? What would they do? Bzz. The bees and the flowers go bzz, 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 bzz. Bzz, bzz, bzz. The bees and the flowers go bzz, 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 in my own backyard. How about the butterfly in the breeze? Hmm? Flutter, flutter, flutter. The butterfly in the breeze goes flutter, 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 flutter. The butterfly in the breeze goes flutter, 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 in my own backyard. So when I think about insects, I think about ants. And when I think about ants, I think about picnics. And when I think about picnics, I think about this song, going on a picnic. If you were here, we would, you get to choose what we'd bring to the picnic, but I'm gonna just choose for you. I'm gonna say it and then you say it back. Joel's here and he's going to, he's going to sing the other part. And you sing with Joel, okay? Going on a picnic, leaving right away. If it doesn't rain, we can stay all day. Did you bring the lemonade? Yes, I brought the lemonade. Going on a picnic, here we go. All right, so you say, yes, I brought the, okay? Now what do we have? Mmm, what are those? Can you see? Sandwiches. Going on a picnic, leaving right away. If it doesn't rain, we can stay all day.
Did you bring the sandwiches? Yes, I brought the sandwiches. Did you bring the lemonade? Yes, I brought the lemonade. Going on a picnic, here we go. All right, what's next? What else are we gonna bring? Mmm, potato chips. Going on a picnic, leaving right away. If it doesn't rain, we can stay all day. Did you bring the potato chips? Yes, I brought the potato chips. Did you bring the sandwiches? Yes, I brought the sandwiches. Did you bring the lemonade? Yes, I brought the lemonade. Going on a picnic, here we go. Now what? Mmm, my favorite. Is that your favorite too? What is it? Watermelon. Going on a picnic, leaving right away. If it doesn't rain, we can stay all day. Did you bring the watermelon? Yes, I brought the watermelon. Did you bring the potato chips? Yes, I brought the potato chips. Did you bring the sandwiches? Yes, I brought the sandwiches. Did you bring the lemonade? Yes, I brought the lemonade. Going on a picnic, here we go. What is missing? Some dessert, maybe? How about this dessert? Does that look delicious? Yes. Going on a picnic, leaving right away. If it doesn't rain, we can stay all day. Did you bring the cookies? Yes, I brought the cookies. Did you bring the watermelon? Yes, I brought the watermelon. Did you bring the potato chips? Yes, I brought the potato chips. Did you bring the pic? I mean the sandwiches. Yes, I brought the sandwiches. Did you bring the lemonade? Yes, I brought the lemonade. Going on a picnic, here we go. Yay! I would like to go on a picnic with you. All right, now we're gonna sing a song about flies. A fly is on my toes. A fly is on my toes. Hi ho, just watch me blow. A fly is on my toes. Ready, blow your toes. <sighs> oh, it landed on my knee. A fly is on my knee. A fly is on my knee. Hi ho, just watch me blow. A fly is on my knee. Can you blow your knee? <gasps> oh, it landed on my elbow. A fly is on my elbow. It tickles. A fly is on my elbow. Hi ho, just watch me blow. A fly is on my elbow. <sighs> Whee! On my shoulder now. A fly is on my shoulder. A fly is on my shoulder. Hi ho, just watch me blow. A fly is on my shoulder. <sighs> on my nose. A fly is on my nose, a fly is on my nose. Hi ho, just watch me blow, a fly is on my nose. <sighs> it's hard to blow your own nose on your own nose. It's easy to blow your own nose. So I have a worm farm. I had a small one and then Nadine Chapman gave me her old worm farm and I put my worms in it. Worms are really great at composting things. They eat whatever they find in the dirt and then it goes through them and it comes out their their poop and it makes really wonderful dirt. So come and look and see what I've got in here. So if you lift the lid off, I've got a layer of cardboard. My daughter Mary drew that when she was a kid. And here is what it looks like. Right now I have some shredded paper on top. They like to eat the paper. And if I move it away, look, you can see the worms in there. Look at that fat worm. These are red worms. And this is, this is apple. It's gotten a little moldy, but it doesn't stop them from eating. Do you see all this dirt? It started out as paper and now it's dirt. And I'll be able to get the worms out of there and use the dirt for growing nice things like zinnias. How are your zinnias doing, by the way? I think the tiger would not like to hold these worms, but I don't mind at all. What do you think? Aren't they cool? They're not insects, are they? They don't have any legs at all. Okay, goodbye little worms. See you later. I'll bring you some banana peels later, maybe. It's that time again to sing about you. Take a minute to look at what you're wearing, what you got on today. 
I've got a red shirt on I want to sing about. Can you help me sing about me? Elizabeth's wearing her red shirt, her red shirt, her red shirt. Elizabeth's wearing her red shirt all day long. Please take a bow. Thanks for coming to Storytime today. Really happy to have you here. Ready to sing about you? Have you looked at what you're wearing? Thinking about it? Okay, who wants to go first? You wanna go first, Bennett? You do? What are you wearing, Bennett? What are those? Crab shorts. Crab shorts. Crab shorts. Okay, everybody ready? Ben it's wearing his crab shorts, his crab shorts, his crab shorts. Ben it's wearing his crab shorts all day long. Please take a bow. Yay! <laughs> okay, who's next? You wanna go next, Jack? No? Okay, I guess you're right. Next, Bo. I'm wearing my mm, I don't know how to describe this. Hmm. I see stripes. My striped tank top. Striped tank top. Everybody got that? Bo is wearing his striped tank top. His striped tank top. His striped tank top. Bo is wearing his striped tank top all day long. Please take a bow. Yay! All right, Jack, what about you? Blue shirt. Blue shirt, you got a tie on today. <laughs> okay, blue shirts, you get to choose. Okay, ready? Jack is wearing his blue shirt, his blue shirt, his blue shirt. Jack is wearing his blue shirt all day long. Please take a bow. Yay! Okay, you get to see yourself in a story time coming up soon, okay? This is an inchworm. There's lots of different kinds of inchworms. This one is a green inchworm. Sometimes they're brown and look like twigs. It has six legs because it's an insect. And the front and the back are just fake feet. Help them stand up and scooch along like that. Whoop! And then it becomes a moth. There's lots of different kinds of inchworms and lots of different kind of inchworm moths. This is one of them. Isn't that neat? So now I have a book about an inchworm and it's called Inch by Inch by Leo Leone. How long do you think an inchworm is? Well, they're kind of an inch. They're short, but not necessarily an inch. But that's where they got their name. They're about that long, so they're called inchworms. I see the inchworm. That one's green, like the one in the video. Uh-oh. One day, a hungry robin saw an inchworm, green as an emerald, sitting on a twig. He was about to gobble him up. It'd be pretty tasty for a bird, wouldn't it? Don't eat me! I'm an inchworm! I'm useful! I measure things! Is that so? said the robin. Then measure my tail. Oh, that's easy, said the inchworm. One, whoop, two, whoop, three, four, five inches. Just think, said the robin. <gasps> My tail is five inches long. And with the inchworm, he flew to where other birds needed to be measured. Look, he got a ride. The inchworm measured the neck of the do you know what kind of bird that is? Flamingo. Much longer than the robin's tail, huh? He measured the toucan's beak. The legs of a, you have any idea what that would be? A heron. Oh, well, there's a head. I didn't even see that first. The tail of the pheasant. And the whole hummingbird. One morning, the nightingale met the inchworm. Measure my song, said the nightingale. But 
how do I, how can I do that? said the inchworm. I measure things, not songs. Measure my song or I'll eat you for breakfast, said the nightingale. Then the inchworm had an idea. Okay, I'll try, he said. Go ahead and sing. There's the inchworm. Whoop. The nightingale sang and the inchworm measured away. He measured and measured. There he goes. Inch by inch until he inched out of sight. That's a clever inchworm, huh? Just moved on along. And the nightingale finished singing and was going, well, how big is my song? Where are you? Where are you? <laughs> Look at me, I'm an inchworm. Can you get down on the floor with me? Get down on your tummies. All right, so an inchworm goes up, up and down. And up and down. Did you do it? That's a lot of work. You can keep practicing, okay? All right, now let's do some music. Okay, so this is another great song by Jim Gill, and it's called Face the Facts. Okay, everybody stand up and do these motions with me, okay? chicken dance. All right, there's no words to it, so it's beaks, wings, tail feathers. Clap, clap, clap. Beaks, wings, tail feathers. Clap, 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 clap. All right, and then we have some dancing in between. Everybody stand up and do it with me. Chickens like inchworms, wouldn't they? And worms, and flies, right? Okay, here we go.
is called Shoe Fly Guy, and it's by Ted Arnold. We have a lot of Fly Guy books. Look at them all, and a few others in nonfiction. So, if you like this one, if you're a new reader, you could probably read these. Practice reading. Shoe Fly Guy. It's a chapter book, a little tiny chapter book. Chapter one. A boy had a pet fly. The boy called his pet Fly Guy. Fly Guy could say the boy's name, Buzz. <laughs> the boy's name was Buzz. Buzz played with Fly Guy. Look, Fly Guy got to go on a ride on an airplane, on a paper airplane. Buzz made him a glass house. Look, he's got a bed and a chair and a pillow. Best of all, Buzz fed him. Mmm, look at all that yucky stuff. Fly Guy's favorite food was brown, oozy, lumpy, and smelly. One day, Fly Guy went flying by himself. When he came home, Buzz was gone. Dear Fly Guy, where are you? We are going on a picnic. We'll be back soon. Love, Buzz. Fly Guy was hungry, so off he flew. Chapter 2. Fly Guy flew until he saw something to eat. It wasn't oozy, lumpy, or smelly, but it was brown. Close enough. A boy shouted, hey, that's my hamburger. Shoo, Fly. Look, he's squirting mustard at him. <laughs> Fly Guy flew on until he saw something else. It wasn't brown, lumpy, or smelly, but it was oozy. Close enough. What is it, you think? A girl yelled, that's my pizza! Shoo, Fly! Look, she's got a fly swatter. Fly Guy flew on until he saw something else. It wasn't brown, oozy, or smelly, but it was lumpy. Close enough. A dog growled, Those are my bones. Shoo, fly. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Ah. Fly Guy flew on until he saw something else. It wasn't brown, oozy, or lumpy, but it was smelly. Close enough. A bird squawked. That's my roadkill. Oh, poor frog. Shoo, fly. Chapter three. Fly guy was very hungry and he was very tired. He looked around. Fly guy was lost. He flew on and 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 on until Fly Guy saw something. Could it be? Yes! It was brown, oozy, lumpy, and smelly. Ha! You found our picnic, cried Buzz, and here's your favorite. Shoe fly pie. Huh. Fly guy was very happy. So today we're going to make an inchworm. It won't stand up on its own, but if you lean it against something, it will. There it is. Okay. So what we'll need for this project is pipe cleaner, green pipe cleaner and some beads, and a googly eye. This doesn't seem to have an adhesive backing, so I have some glue to put the eye on, all right? I think I'll start with a purple. So I'm gonna put it on, and then I'm gonna bend it so it won't come off, okay? So that's the first one. And then I just get to choose what pattern I wanna do. I think orange looks pretty. These are all sparkly. What colors are yours? Pink. Pink. I think I'll do it three pinks in a row. And 
yellow and a green. Mine is a little bit too long, so I'm going to get some scissors and cut it shorter. I'm not going to cut it too short because I need to curl up the end for the eye. So, woo! Okay, so I cut off a little bit, and now I'm going to curl this up into a curl. There's his head. Okay, now comes the part where we put the eyeball on the head. I'm going to put a lot of glue on there. Lots of glue. And I'm going to stick the eyeball on the head. There, it's stuck. Now I'm going to make him have an arch like a, like a inchworm. There it is, my inchworm. Let's see if we can have it lean up against some of the glue. Does that look good? Inchwormy. Hello, inchworm. Well, thank you so much to Luann Janest for coming up with this cute craft and putting all the parts together for you guys to pick up. If you would like some story time supplies, craft supplies, and you're going to be in freedom, let me know if you're not already on the list and we will get you some supplies as well. Hope you guys had fun and I'll see you next week, okay? Bye for now. Oh, my eyeball went flying. Okay, oh gosh.